you see pictures of people pregnant and picking cute little outfits and, you know, rocking a baby bump, and that's what I imagined, but I did not have that. In 2018, Asia Grammer had just become pregnant with her first daughter when she became violently ill. I spent my days uh, vomiting 20 times a day, pretty much to the end of pregnancy. I was not able to maintain electrolytes and water and food in my body. But did you feel like, wait a minute, people talk about morning sickness. This isn't supposed to be like that, or something must be wrong with me. I'm not strong enough. I can't buck up enough. Yeah, I thought that it was my fault. I guess I'm just being dramatic because there's no other answer for this. Turns out Asia had a condition called hyperemesis gravidorum, a mysterious illness in pregnant women that leads to nearly 400,000 visits to the ER every year. Symptoms include severe nausea, dizziness, motion sickness, and vomiting, which can lead to dangerous dehydration and weight loss for mothers and harm to fetuses. Asia, who's married to singer Andy Grammer, says her illness took a toll on them both. It's a big burden on also the person that's caring for you because you can't leave. You can't leave. Right, because this is the thing. If I'm about to faint every time I stand up, then I can't really be left alone. Perhaps the most publicized case of hyperemesis is comedian Amy Schumer. I feel so bad. Who documented her battle in an HBO special. <coughs> and I just threw up blood. Asia says it was only through Schumer that she learned about the condition. Though her doctor did offer her anti-nausea medication, she says he never once said the word hyperemesis, telling her later he didn't want to scare her. Her doctor wasn't available for comment. Would it have been helpful had he given you that word? It would have changed my entire life because at the time I just thought I was going crazy. But having the label would have showed me that it's actually uh, a common occurrence. Still, there's no single treatment once given that will resolve symptoms for the rest of the pregnancy, nor are there any tests to diagnose it. Geneticist Dr. Marlena Fazo is determined to change that. She's become one of the world's leading researchers on hyperemesis. I needed to know what had caused this condition and stop people from having to go through what I did. Two decades ago, she suffered from it and lost her baby. Even today, one out of three pregnancies with hyperemesis don't make it to full term. But Dr. Fazo says hope is on the horizon. In a recently published study, she documented a genetic link to the illness. We found that there's a 17-fold increased risk of having it if your sister had it. Her goal to develop a genetic test for hyperemesis, as well as treatments to block the symptoms. Asia says yeah. that would that change her life. I might want to have another child. And for a long time, that was a hard no, because I don't want to be sick like that again. Asia and Andy now have two healthy little girls, and they say knowing about hyperemesis the second time around helped a lot. They asked their doctor up front about getting a feeding tube for her and a pump for anti-nausea medication, which did reduce her symptoms. And for more information about hyperemesis and where you can find support, you can go to hyperemesis.org, which is a big community, and they give you all the information and you can that you might need. Maria, I'm, I'm imagining some pregnant women watching this wondering, boy, do I right. just have morning sickness or could it be this condition? So if you might have this, what should you do? Well, first of all, you should go to the doctor and say, I think I have this. This is beyond just plain old morning sickness. And if you think your doctor isn't listening or addressing your concerns, you should get a second opinion. Go to that website. It tells you what other people's experiences have been. And if you match, you have that. How about that woman's doctor was not available for comment well, to talk about it? Many, yeah. many women suffer with yeah. this and, and don't necessarily recognize it as such. Yeah. And there is some help and some mm -hmm. treatment. Maria, thank you for thank shining you, a light. Maria. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, girls. Nice to see you. You, you too. too. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.